this is an archive, uh, the major archive uh, that humanity has on its past. And um, the study of rock art has, uh, uh, has started long ago, but every generation there are some new issues. And now the main issue is not just describing and dating, but understanding. Rock art was not done by men just to embellish rocks. It was done con to convey messages to other people, to the gods, to the spirits which are inside the rock or else. And uh, what we want to do now is to understand, to read, to decipher the meaning of rock art. And this process is opening up a new age for human history. Until now, we were talking of history from the beginning of writing. But rock art is writing before writing. So that if until now, human history was covering the last 5,000 years, by studying rock art, we may have a human history covering the last 50,000 years. And this is a target. It is uh, what uh, we want to achieve. And uh, this is one of the concerns of uh, the World Heritage of UNESCO, because it is a patrimony that uh, will provide a new dimension, a new thickness to human culture. One of the tasks of UNESCO is that of putting together all these archives and finding a common denominator so that people from different countries can talk to each other and understand each other, uh, both in terms of uh, the information provided of, uh, and of uh, general culture. This is part of our culture. This is a new dimension of uh, human culture that is being acquired by the awareness of 50,000 years of human creativity. There are countries like uh, uh, Australia, like uh, certain parts of uh, Africa, uh, which uh, have almost no written history. The history started from uh, the advent of uh, European colonization. And rock art is going to provide thousands of years of history which were never, never written before. I think this is an, an extremely important aspect of our culture because it gives awareness, it gives pride, it gives a knowledge of uh, the identity of different ethnic groups and uh, it uh, provides a, a sort of mosaic of uh, the humankind. Uh, in modern history, in written history, this mosaic is just composed of uh, the Europeans and the, all the countries that have been influenced by Europe but of course also the Middle East, also the Far East, China, but many, many countries around the world have no history that is older than three or four hundred years. Now, the study of rock art is providing this new dimension, is providing a deeper knowledge of the identity of the humankind, and it is extremely important and I think it is a, a very important task that UNESCO is covering by devoting energy and thought to this new aspect of uh, uh, research. Searching the mind and the spirit of man by his artistic productions. This is the last chance we have to collect this information and to have a direct knowledge of the motivations and ideology which is behind rock art. And this is a very urgent task 
which must be done as soon as possible.